Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming back to the finals of Dominate Gaming's Dominion Tournament number 84. This game is going to be a... Uh, oop, let me uh, change these titles and things. Uh, I think Nine Frog or whatever Frog's name in the chat, had the most awesome description of this team name combo. It's fa it's Fancy's mom bought Fancy's mom a PS3 versus Penetration. I'm still used to calling them 3v3 other numbers. I forgot what the bands were and I copy pasted them into the chat. That's Fancy's mom high ELO, that's right. Okay. That's the correct one. I just posted the chat band, so I completely lost them somehow. Okay, there we go. So we have Jenna. It's one of them. We have Nidalee. That's another one. We have LeBlanc. Being banned, because generics are really good LeBlanc. And had Kha'Zix banned as well. Okay, and our first pick has been locked in. It is going to be Brand being picked up by Zounds. Brand brings a stun to the table, a lot of AoE damage, good zoning ability, useful champion to have. And where'd everything go? Okay, there we go. Hi, hello, I'm sorry. I was AFK for a sec. Oh dear, I'm glad that you teleported to the stream. Yeah. I came back and I was like, oh my god, we're into champion select. And then science happened. Let's see these other two champions lock in. Let's see Leona and Pantheon. Both characters with a targeted apply stun. And Leona brings an AoE stun to the table. Leona has really good chase. Good dive. Leona's a good champion. Pantheon does good damage. I think Leona is 100% pick today. Yeah. You know and what has the Fancy's lowest pick mom rate? adapting from Clueless and picking up the Tarek. Yeah, Tarek brings a stun to the table. Does some. Well, he doesn't really do much damage, but auras, stun, good things. Also, for any longtime viewers of the broadcast, uh, welcome to the finals. We also have a subscriber button, by the way. We just got that, it's new. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why the heck not? It's five bucks. Uh, it's five five bucks a month, and uh, you can you can unsubscribe at any time. If you don't like recurring fees, you can sub for a month, and then unsub, and then just rebuy it every month if you want. That's that's what I plan on doing because I hate recurring payments, and uh, you can do that. It'd be helpful. You know what it would do? It would help pay for the website, and uh, help us get new toys for the stream and stuff like that. It's all all good stuff. The more uh, money we can get coming in, the more we can put back out to you dudes out there, running tournaments, doing other things. So, if you've been a long-time viewer of the broadcast, and you want to contribute a little bit to uh, the entertainment that we bring you, press that subscribe button. Twitch gets paid, Dominate Gaming gets paid. It's great. And uh, if you don't feel like paying, hey, click the follow button, because that way you know whenever the stream goes live, you never have to miss a thing. And if you don't want to do either of those things, well, hey, thank you for watching anyway. You're still okay, but you're not nearly as cool as the followers, and the subscribers are awesome. Back to picks. Uh, MMKH locking in wow, Tarek. It's a Tristana. Once in, what? It's a Trist Yeah, Tristana happens. We have a uh, MMKH and Carnival picking up Tarek, and that's not Malphite. It's Mundo. I really wanted to say Malphite for some reason. I'm out of my mind. Okay. We do not see Malphite very often. I think Malphite is actually still pretty good, but we never see him. Yeah, he's good. It's just there's things that tend to be Wukong a little bit better, better than some people. Wukong's not a tank though. That's true. Yes, Nighthawk, it's it's five dollars a month. No, it's not permanent. How would they make money if it was permanent, Nighthawk? What? Yeah. You should sub anyway. Just sub for a couple months out of the year. We don't mind. It's okay. If you can't pay for it one month, don't worry about it. Just unsub. It's cool. We understand. 
Uh, seeing Tristana and Cassiopeia picked up. Tristana, range is great. Yeah. I was editing my Sona guide this morning because Solomid changed their guide format. And I, I made this guide in February. And I realized that I had just forgotten Tristana when I was doing AD carry matchups. I had, like, I included AD Kennen. I just forgot about Tristana for, like, an entire year. How do you even do that? I don't even know. Like, because when I was going through, and I had clicked on 80 carries, and I was just, like, writing, like, I don't know, two to five sentences about each matchup and each pairing. And I just skipped Tristana. Well, it's hard to see her. She's pretty short. She gets lost in the she crowd of people. She's pretty short. If you put her in the front... You can see her, but if she's not, then she's different. It's hard to see. She's, like, behind other tall, slender ladies like Caitlyn. I actually, for a while, had a wallpaper on one of my monitors that was a fan art that I found of a, a Leona with this tiny little Tristana hiding behind her shield, and it was really, really cute. But I don't actually play either of those champions, so then I changed it. Oh, man, I would put a little harness on the back of, uh, of Leona's shield, and then... Whenever I turned around to, like, run away, Tristana would just shoot under my arm back at them. Just pew, 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 gun. It's pretty much how it works, is you just stand there, and then your AD carry is, like, this little, tiny, delicate flower that stands behind you, and can't really do anything until late game. But in late game, we love them very much. Alright, we are at the spectator delay now. No, not that button! Oopsies. I showed the, uh... The, the, the stream's parts again. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to do that. Ta -da! Okay. Alright. Look at these two comps. We have uh, Vi again. We have Sam Riven again. So we're probably going to see uh, Sam Bottom. That would make sense. And then over on the other team, we're probably going to see... Yeah, it's probably going to be Armor Gragas down in the bottom lane. This is the first time these two teams have met in the finals. This is Sofanda's. This is whoa. Sofanda's Wait, I... in the finals again, and okay, yeah, maybe it is. Not Sofanda, Penny. It, it's it, it's Penny versus it's it's okay. It's we have it's Penny versus Fancy. It, yeah, we have we have Fancy's mom versus Pennytration. That's what we have going on here. What if Fancy's mom is named Penny? Whoa, I don't think it is. I don't think so either, but. I, I don't know. Want to see killing ranked Nighthawk? I'll kill ranked all day. I have a lot of ranked to kill. Look at all that killing ranked. So Sam's on Riven again. And we saw him pretty much dominate Sauron last game. Or not last game, but two games ago. The last game that we saw. And Sauron's really, really, really good at bot lane. So I'm looking forward to see more of Sam's Riven. Movement on Vi again. This is very similar to the same team composition that they had before. Replacing in the uh, the Taric there. I want to say for a Leona. I want to say it was a Leona. So I know Zans plays a lot of Leona. Oh yeah, he played played Leona. Was he Leona? He was not Leona. He was Maokai. He was Maokai. So it's the exact same composition, except for Zounds is now Taric instead of Maokai. And Maokai was banned, so... Maokai and Taric are actually really, really similar. You have that targeted, single target, CC lockdown, Twisted Advance for Maokai, Dazzle for Taric, and then giving additional defense or a Taric, that's his W, Maokai, that's his ult. But they're actually really, really similar champions. Lots of sustain on both of them. Tarek has his imbue, Maokai has his stat magic passive. Both of them are giant tanks. Hey, right, so we have generic Cass. I actually haven't seen a lot of generic Cass before. Usually I see him on LeBlanc or Brand or Ezreal. I think I've seen him on Annie a couple times. But I'm not as familiar with his Cassiopeia as I am with his other champions. Well, just remember, it is Cassie OP. Uh, oh, 
Not that button. I have to add the titles again. Okay. So is Cassiopeia is probably OP. Um, let's see, Fancy's mom. What is it? What's the abbreviation for Fancy's mom, high elo? I I usually do Fancy, but you could probably do mom or high or elo. Okay. Or F M H E. I I don't even know. They we used to have team tags be a thing, but then uh, I don't know after that. Then they killed off it. And there were no more tags. Yeah. You're still technically supposed to have a team tag, but uh, no one cares, and uh, there's nowhere to put it, so like, I can't even complain. Actually, I could have said that way better. I could have just said, but then they killed it off. That would have... That would have been better. It's an extra word, though. 3v3gg. Well, no, because they're under a different name. Uh, well, they well, used oh, to Penny's have still team in the same tags, place. but then they killed it off. Oh... I'm just not clever enough on the first iteration. I have to do this really bad first iteration of the pun, and then I get it right. But then you heard the bad iteration, and so I don't sound clever anymore. I sound... I don't know. But guys, this is the finals. This is game one of the finals, actually. It is a best of three. Dominate Dominion number 84. It is Fancy's Mom High Elo versus Penny Trashin. Fancy's Mom High Elo consists of Zounds playing Tarek. Carnival on Brand, MMKH on Mundo, Movement on Vi, and Sam in the bot lane right. gonna be on Riven. I am Wrangle River, see. and casting with me is Gander. He's taking care of some stuff. I got it fixed. I just had to click the uh, scene and I split. But the other team is Penetration. I said it wrong. Whoops. Whatever. <laughs> For, formerly Sophanicox is generic on Cassiopeia, Golly playing Panthea on Northpaw on Tristana, Painkiller on Leona, and Armor on Gragas. This is best of three. If you missed the earlier games, they were all fantastic. You should absolutely check out the VODs. They'll be up on this channel. They will be saved forever, and eventually they'll be on the YouTube channel as well. And looking at the starter guy, there's nothing out of the ordinary there. We're seeing some health first on the tankier champions. It's just something that you can do. I mean, if you're not going to be relying on the damage, just stack up those uh, basic health items. They really help out the additional part of the game. I both right, teams had the battle has begun. Top part of the map. Let's look at Vi's little cop fist. She's going to cap mid, isn't she? Okay. Wait, I can zoom in out more then. No, she's not in the wrong pose for it. Okay, well, back to actual gameplay stuff. Both teams heading up to the top part of the map, uh, and Cassiopeia has some poke, but no one else on the team really does, because well, there's a Brandon Mundo on the other. So if they hang out for long enough up here, uh, and Fancy's mom, Hyelo's team, is going to get the advantage. Yeah, both... I hesitate to say mid laners, but both people who captured the mid turret I uh, took the passive way, and we actually do have movement coming around for the flank now. He's gonna jump on to generic. A ton of damage comes in. The exhaust is on to Gali. Pillar of Flame goes down, only has Gali, but the conflagration hits a lot. Movement actually gonna be the first blood. Tristana getting the resets, but it's a double kill for MMKH there. There's the reset over the wall. Nice jump away for the disengage from Northpaw. Zam's still super high on health. Actually, getting even auto attacks off on generic is slowed a little bit, but doesn't care. Pillar of Flame and the stun Tristana goes down. That's going to be the windmill. It's almost certainly decided for uh, 3v3. Generic comes in, but can't get the auto attack off on the Zounds. So Zounds is going to be able to capture this. Golly and Pinkiller after reviving are stuck here. And it looks like Generic did actually use the revive, despite the fact that the windmill fight is pretty much over. So we'll see if he decides to gank Bali in, or if he's just going to hang around in the middle of the map. And MKH hanging around in the center. Scouts for his team. Checks with the Cleaver. Doesn't find anything. And that happened. So we have a pause. Alright, so Sam told me that I was supposed to look at him during the pause. We can't look at people during the pause, though. Well, you if you rewind, you can look. Why did they pause, though? I don't know. I can check. Um, 
It looks like Generic was having 1k ping, so he was trying to figure it out. Oh, but the pause is resumed, and I did not actually get to see why Sam wanted me to look at him during the pause, but something exciting may have happened. Well, I mean, he has a kill, so he probably just killed Gragas. Yeah. That's probably all it was. He just wanted, he wanted to get seen on the camera. And Sam actually now one versus two. Gonna dash away, but it is not enough. He goes down. Painkiller is stunned. He dashes out through to Mundo with the Zenith Blade. Is retreating. Painkiller playing a lot of Leona now, it looks like. He used to play a lot of Amumu. He was sort of known for his Amumu play at one point. And Sam with the 1v3 and Balin coming out with one kill there is probably going to go down. He got the shield. The spear shot isn't enough. He managed to pick up the health. Also can he get the keepers. He got the keepers down on Degali. He finally goes down, but he lived for a ton longer than he should have, allowing the capture to be delayed for quite a bit. His team had time to pick up the drill. So still in control of three points. Fancy's mom, high low, off to a uh, interesting start. There's been a lot of play all over the map this game. MKH is going to get the neutral Ooh, against Armor. How is this fight going to play out? MKH definitely has more health, and his sadism is down, though, unfortunately, at the moment. So he can't quite pop the ult and get too crazy yet. Misses with a couple clean. Sam's actually in a lot of trouble here. He was probably going to go down to generic. Was trying to walk in just for an auto attack or something there, but did drop. Golly now is in the middle of three, and he is going to fall. And that should be a recap of the quarry here. While meanwhile, generic roams over to the drill to pick that up for his team. And MKH is going to take that back. Generic is going to recapture control of the drill for his team. You have the wrong oh, overlay. It didn't switch. Okay. Sorry, once in a while when I click it, uh, if I click it once, it doesn't change sometimes. Happens occasionally, my bad. It's okay, Lulu is the best champion in the entire game, so why would you want to see anything else? That's all we were trying to say to you, is the subliminal messaging there. Oh dear, Pyroclasm is a pretty good spell to have, but against Pantheon and Leona, it's not quite doing the damage that he wanted it to. And there's another pause, I could have just kept the overlay up this whole time. Well, wow. I'm just in the middle of fight now. right now. It looks like Carnival will probably be able to escape. Uh, taking a look at Golly's cooldowns, he has two seconds still on Aegis of Zeonia, and before he is actually able to jump, he will not be able to pick up the kill. He does have spear shot, but I think Carnival is going to be out of spear shot range. Pretty much, I think I think Carnival's already out of spear shot range. I wish I could see the circle around the champion if I hovered over the ability name, but the Pillar of Flame is going to do a ton of damage there, and Carnival actually might even be able to turn around for a seer if Golly uses a spear shot on someone else. But if he turns around and Golly uses a spear shot, then he'll just die. So I imagine he's just going to have to run away. And Generic should be firing now. Had an actually a great petrifying gaze there. There is the resume. Can Golly get the spear shot? Nope. Nope, he dies, and Bran did turn around for the seer, but it didn't really do anything. Carnival still had a decent amount of health. There is the roam up from Sam. Gonna dash forward. Can he get on to Northpaw? Northpaw does not have his jump up for eight more seconds, so that is going to be a very dead level Yordle. Cage with the cleavers, keeping Generic a little bit suppressed over there. Bomb part of the map. Armor has this tower neutral against Carnival right now. The Seer does not quite land. And it is being pushed up to that. Carnival actually missing his Seer there. Gets ignited. Explosive class misses somehow. And so Carnival is going to be fine. Nice outplay by Carnival. Top part of the map. Painkiller. Oh, Zound stuns painkiller so he can just walk on by. And he couldn't get crowd control until he actually arrived at the tower. MK taking the damage. Generic launched those twin fangs. Able to take him down very, very quickly. Generic's Cassiopeia doing a pretty good job eating people up here. And painkiller and Golly stand alive long enough to enable that to happen. And movement is actually going to assault and battery there onto Golly. I don't think he can actually pick anything up. No. Nope. It's a triple kill for Pantheon. Brand coming in though with the pirate. Oh! Shut the down. bounce! Nice that drop was there. ridiculous! You see how far that went? Picked just the perfect target to bounce to. Carnival picking up that kill. A little bit too 
along. Maybe no painkiller is gonna drop. The passive, yeah, no, 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 the passive from Brand is enough. Oh man. That blaze, it's eight percent of your health and magic damage over four seconds. Yeah, Leona almost lived. So close, but unfortunately not able to. Uh, hey, Sam had got that other tower. Yeah. So, Fancy's mom, High Elo, is still up in this game. Three points. Uh, sitting at still above 400 Nexus health, which is a pretty solid lead to have up by about 100 right now. But there's plenty of time for that to change, as we've seen. Yeah, absolutely. And we have two versus one in top right now. Northpaw actually going to rocket jump on top of a point. Nice little maneuver there. Gets stunned by Tarek, though. And oh my god, the burst damage might actually go down if Sounds gets the exhaust off. If he can get a stun in four seconds. Nope, the shatter is going to be enough. Takes a little bit of damage from Golly. The Seer does not connect, but guess what? Dazzle is targeted. So it's a double kill for Brand. Ooh, Brand just outside the range of that solar flare. Remember to split up when you're capturing towers, guys. Yeah, so important to split up. Sounds and Carnival to recap the windmill there. Mundo chasing Leona. Mm, cage Mundo against Painkiller there. Yeah, I think Mm Cage doesn't care too much, although he doesn't have his ult down right up right now. It is down, so he doesn't have it available. So he needs to be a little bit careful. But he has team coming in. Sam coming in from one side, movement coming in from another. Is similar Ooh. side Mm Cage, just the disengage. Shastana gets obliterated. Golly with the assault and battery. Maskism is now up. Uh, Sadism, excuse me, now up. Double kill for Sam. He make it a triple. No vibe is the one who takes that, and movement gonna go ahead back off after that. Not wanting to steal any more kills away from Sam. Armor might get dropped here too. Sam Way is going to just actually start the capture here. Blackfire Torch actually used by generic there, but there's no more damage to follow it up, so it doesn't do all that much. And those cleavers, man, they hurt a lot. Like cleavers are meant for the kitchen, not for applying to Cassiopeia's face and or other parts. Zounds, though, stunned, is Tarek, and actually probably should be just fine. It's Sam we really have to be worried about. He's the squishiest one here in this engagement. And if they can connect with Sam, Sam might get sent back to the summoner platform. Like they get... can perma CC him, yeah. Yeah, that stun combo. Leona That's and Pantheon work very well together. They know where Zounds is. Zounds stuns Golly. Mimcage is gonna... Nope, he's gonna turn around. He's gonna go for this. He's gonna maybe try to fight this out. Hits, oh. hits his ultimate again. It's a pretty short cooldown on that. It's only about a minute. And MK is going to be able to keep this neutral for a little bit. Which would be really useful for to his team. Yeah, MK is just sitting here and sitting here and sitting here and... Gets the exhaust down onto Golly there, chasing Painkiller. Actually manages to pick up the kill 1 versus 2. Unfortunately, Burning Agony left him burning in agony. And he did end up going down to Pantheon after losing a lot of health. Sam coming in activates the Wind Slash just to be able to get the interrupt on the capture. So nice use of that range. He couldn't have dove past the turret safely if the capture had been actually finished there. And Generic landing a good set of spells against Sam is going to be able to turn that tower around and discourage Sam from pushing any further. But they gained a massive Nexus health lead. They cut about 150 off in that time. Yeah, absolutely. It was a lot of posturing, but... They were accomplishing stuff while they were posturing. So nice, the, sort of the equivalent of having a slow push in a lane, just obliterating Ooh. a turn. And oh my God, speaking of obliterated. Yeah, Sam's Riven obliterated. got turned into a paint splatter. Although MKH has found generic and generic not gonna be able to deal with that Mundo, unfortunately. His health, uh, Regan, and his health, just health overall just being so high that he couldn't have lived long enough to burst that down, I don't think. Looks like a double kill for Carnival there. The Pillar of Flame did manage to hit. Sounds against Tristana right now. I don't really think that Northpaw is going to lose this one, especially with help from Armor. And so Sounds is probably going to go down here shortly. Just trying to juke around in circles. They want to give the kill to Tristana in particular. Oh my god! He just killed himself! Yeah, just just leave Tristana with Tarek, who has a heal and has a big lead on her escaping. It'll get her the kill. Oh my god. And even with the healing reduction, he just needed any amount to get he out of range to hit those amount. bushes. Because Tarek has so much armor. And armor might have actually died there to the passive. Now he's gonna be fine. He has plenty of health. Passive isn't that crazy. 
Now, back when Blackfire Torch existed with Brand, oh man, that was a yeah. nightmare. Old Blackfire Torch. That was a lot of damage. Oh, the denting blows can't quite, or excessive force, excuse me, can't quite get there onto Gragas. That was actually with the Sun into Cassiopeia instead of onto Armor. I'm not sure if that was intended. Carnival with a little bit of health from over the wall. Pillar of Flame to interrupt the capture there. Zaz is just chasing armor. Going to pick that up with a shatter. No problem. Brand and Gragas are traded back and forth. Movement should be able to pick this up. And the Assault and Battery. Oh, dear. That, that, is, that came right up at least the perfect time. I was hanging out at like 30 seconds when I looked at the beginning of that fight, and it came up just there near the end. He was able to just get a kill against Cassiopeia. Generic back with the revive, though, down in the really bottom lane now. Really nice dodge of Petrifying Gaze there by Sam just there. Turned around right before Generic casted it. And that point is so close to being in Fancy's Mom's control, but still not quite. Mundo's been... MMKH's Mundo has just been the neutral master. Just throwing oh, those nice cleavers. nice juke by Sam. But I think it's not enough. Now he's going to get picked up by Gragas there. And Carnival! Oh, the Pyroclasm does so much damage there. But Brand gets melted because it was 2 versus 3. Looks like Xeon's end movement are going to be able to pick up armor though. Also, Body Slam is available right now. Actually, this is the explosive cast to knock them back. He still has the body slam. I don't know what he's saving it for. Gets stunned. There's the body slam away, but at this point, it's just one auto attack. Couple auto attacks, maybe. And Tristana's starting to do some damage to sounds. He actually stuns Gragas instead of stunning Tristana. A little bit of a misplay by him there, but it doesn't matter too, too much. Pillar of Flame comes across the infected Cleaver, and he just wanted to give the double kill to MMKH. Thank you very much. And Golly jumps down with the Grand Skyfall. Tries to put the hurt on Zounds and Carnival. Does a little bit of damage, but... Only a little bit when they need massive amounts more than that. MK is still alive and he just hits his ultimate once again and so let his health tick back up and delay for a little while and they have this game under their control. We're gonna take it to game two. Yeah, 386 to 16 is the Nexus health right now. And with a four cap, there's not really the time to turn it into a neutral two and a half to two and a half. And MK is just gonna live on through the end of the game. And we're going to go to game two. Painkiller lived Fancy's two. mom, high yellow, is going to be up 1-0 in this series. That's so well played by Fancy's mom, high yellow. They're going to move up 1-0 in the best of three. But it is a best of three, so it is not over yet. I have so many messages about the overlay. I don't actually see the chat, guys. You have to message me somewhere else. Yeah, I, I see the chat, chat a little bit. I generally don't look at it... Uh, during game after the load screen. But that is uh, game one, and we are going to go on to game two. In the finals, Dominate Dominion number 84, hosted by Dominate Gaming, is Fancy's Mom High Elo versus Penetration, and we will be back shortly with game two. And I'm just going to take a quick glance at damage. Mundo in front with 21k, and Graveyard Hero. Graveyard Hero, this game is going to be Pantheon. With a lot. There we go, 239. Uh, so we're going to be right back in just a moment. Uh, for those of you guys that just showed up, uh, follow the stream. For any longtime viewers that want to help support the stream, subscribe to the stream. We have a subscriber button now. It's awesome. And so are all of you guys. We'll be right back with Game 2, Finals Game 2, potentially one more game for tonight. 